This type of multi-stage centrifugal compressor is widely used in the industry where air is compressed in 4-5 stages. Let us see how it works. This is 36 inch suction line of a centrifugal compressor coming from suction filter. At compressor inlet, double convolution universal tied lateral metallic bellow has been installed. Since suction line pressure is atmospheric pressure, tied lateral metallic bellow is not required. We can provide a rubber bellow or a rubber band. Inlet guide vein that means IGV is there at this inlet of compressor which is controlled by this control valve and this IGV control valve is actuated by instrument air through this blue line. Opening of IGV is controlled through this rod which is connected to this lever for opening or closing the IGV. This is control valve actuator. When more instrument air pressure is applied, then disc of the control valve comes down. This rod comes down and this lever comes down and IGV rotates in one direction. And when the lever goes up, IGV rotates in opposite direction. In this way, Inlet guide vein IGV rotates and allows more air flow or less air flow through the compressor by changing the vein angle. Now you can see the picture of actual inlet guide vein and you can see how it operates and regulates flow through the compressor. This is 3D model view of this compressor with motor and platform all around the compressor and motor. This is the platform all around the compressor and motor for human movement. Now I am removing the platform to see the entire compressor. This compressor is a 4 stage compressor. This is first stage after cooler, this is second stage after cooler, this is third stage after cooler and this is fourth stage after cooler and this is the motor and this is the main gear or boom gear. This is cooling water supply header and this is cooling water return header. To this cooler this is cooling water supply line and this is cooling water return line. Similar cooling water supply and return lines are there for other coolers. Breakup flanges are provided on each cooling water supply and return line so that after removing this breakup flange and cooler side breakup flange we can remove cooler bundle for cleaning like this. Now this is the main gearbox. If I remove the gearbox like this then you can see this is the main gear called bull gear which is connected to motor shaft. This bull gear rotates two small gears. This is one small gear and on the other side this is another small gear. Diameter of bull gear is about 10 times of small gear. So if motor RPM is 1500 RPM then bull gear RPM 
is also 1500 rpm and rpm of two small gear is 15000 rpm through this side small gear this first stage impeller and this second stage impeller is rotated on a common shaft and through other side small gear this third stage impeller and this fourth stage impeller is rotated on a common shaft if final discharge pressure of the compressor is about 12 bar then at first stage air is compressed from ambient pressure to about 2 bar pressure then in second stage from 2 bar pressure to about 5 bar pressure then in third stage from 5 bar pressure to about 8 bar pressure and in fourth stage from 8 bar pressure to 12 bar pressure now let us see how each stage works from compressor suction this is suction nozzle where air comes from suction filter like this now you can see igv or inlet guide vane at suction nozzle igv controls air flow to the compressor as per process requirement this is the igv control valve which controls igv through this lever now air comes to the first stage of the compressor through the igv this is the first stage casing and if i remove the casing you can see first stage impeller this is the first stage impeller in this first stage air is compressed at about 2 bar pressure and then hot air goes to first stage after cooler in this way so this is after cooler inlet this is cell and tube type after cooler then cold air goes to second stage inlet this is second stage inlet and this is second stage casing if i remove the casing you can see second stage impeller this is second stage impeller where air is compressed from 2 bar to about 5 bar pressure after second stage compression this is the outlet of second stage which goes to second stage after cooler this is second stage cell and tube type after cooler where hot air is cooled this is second stage after cooler outlet and then cold air goes to third stage suction in this way this is third stage casing and if i remove the casing you can see third stage impeller this is third stage impeller and in third stage air is compressed from 5 bar pressure to about 8 bar pressure after third stage compression hot air goes to third stage after cooler this is third stage outlet to third stage after cooler inlet this is third stage after cooler cell and tube type hot air from third stage comes to after cooler like this and cold air from after cooler goes to fourth stage suction in this way this is fourth stage casing and if i remove the casing you can see fourth stage impeller this is fourth stage impeller and in fourth stage air is compressed from 8 bar pressure to about 12 bar final pressure 
after fourth stage compression hot compressed air from fourth stage casing comes to fourth stage after cooler in this way this is fourth stage after cooler on fourth stage outlet these two flanged outlets are there one hot air outlet will go to process unit and another will go to blow up valve or anti surge valve for compressor protection against over pressure then fourth stage outlet line comes to after cooler and this is the final cold air outlet line to process unit now you can see the actual compressor after installation at site this is the motor motor shaft has not yet been connected with compressor shaft using coupling this is the main gear box inside which main gear or bull gear is there this is small gear unit for rotating compressor's first stage and second stage impeller and this is another small gear unit for rotating compressor's third stage and fourth stage impeller this is first stage casing where air comes from suction filter and air is compressed and air rotates like this and goes to first stage after cooler this is first stage cooler or intercooler where hot compressed air is cooled these are the cooling water supply and retail lines to the intercooler when hot compressed air is cooled lot of condensate is generated inside the cooler this condensate is removed from each cooler using air trap or vacuumate like this through the trap or vacuumate accumulated condensate is discharged time to time but compressed air cannot come out condensate from trap outlet is terminated to this type of funnel and finally goes to the drain through underground pipeline now this was the inlet of first stage intercooler now this is the outlet of first stage intercooler this outlet is going to second stage suction this is second stage suction nozzle if we see from other side this is the second stage inlet and this is the second stage outlet to second stage intercooler then we go to second stage intercooler outlet this is second stage intercooler outlet going to third stage suction This red color item is called Victrolic coupling used for joining pipelines quickly and it requires very less space. Now this is outlet of third stage and this outlet is going to third stage intercooler. At this intercooler air is cooled and from this third stage intercooler air goes to fourth stage suction this is fourth stage suction this is fourth stage casing and this is fourth stage final outlet from final fourth stage outlet this line is going to blow up valve or anti surge valve 
this is the anti surge valve after anti surge valve air is vented through blow off silencer this is another hot air line which is going to some other process unit like air dryer unit then fourth stage outlet line is going to fourth stage after cooler from after cooler this is the final outlet line at final outlet nozzle universal tight lateral bellow has been provided with tie rods tight so that bellow will be able to take lateral movement of the pipe line and due to tie rods axial pressure thrust shall not be transmitted to the nozzle or to the pipe line these are the bellow convolutions then the pipe line is going to process unit with check valve and isolation valve this check valve should be at minimum distance from compressor discharge nozzle so that air volume up to check valve will be minimum because if compressor trips suddenly then compressed air inside the discharge line will try to expand through the compressor resulting compressor's reverse rotation which is not desirable